Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper here with Plugin Boutique, and this is going to be the general overview of MXXX. As I said in the introductory video, there's going to be a series of tutorials. This is going to be that overview one where I just kind of give you a walkthrough of where things are located inside of here. And then after that, I'm going to do a series of videos on how to do specific things. And most of it is going to focus on the edit page, which is right here. And we're going to jump into that in one second. But before we do that, I want to talk about this view right here. This is called the simple view. And we've got our active preset browser up here at the top. And then we have our actual VST right here. So as I said in the intro, each one of these is a VST in and of itself. So they all do different things. And there are over 500 of them that come stock with the first download of MXXX. There's also a big community online where users submit their own content and it gets curated. And you can actually do that as well once you start creating your own. So I just wanna go ahead and play this real quick. So I've got side EQ shifter filter here, and it's right down here. And I, uh, before we do that, I just wanna show you that you can actually resize the GUI. You can actually hide most of these panels that you see here. You can hide, uh, you can see the tree, um, the metering system over here. You got different meters. You can also hide that if you don't wanna see it. Really, it's a very modular uh, GUI and it's also a modular effects creator. So uh, let's just go ahead and test this. So this is the drum loop I have. And this is it with this effect. So a very cool effect. And you can see down here, it's actually got the name of the person who made this effect. So this is what I'm talking about in terms of community. So let's just check out one of these presets. I'm gonna go ahead and search for reverb. Just type in reverb, hit enter. And you can see that we got tons of reverb. So I'm just gonna pick reverb droid. And as you can see, the GUI of this active presets updates and it's got its own controls. <laughs> That's so good. What about rhythmic reverb? So hopefully you get a good idea of the versatility of this thing. I'm not gonna go through all these presets. I'm sure you can imagine there's over 500 of literally everything, compression, reverb, delay, filtering, EQs, mastering, uh, everything is gonna be inside of here. And if you don't find it, you can make it. That's where the edit page comes in. So this is the modular system inside of MXXX. And this is where you can actually start to create your own plugins. Uh, so this is the input, and there's also a sidechain input. And then the input comes into whatever modules you want. And you can add modules just by clicking. And these are all the different modules you have at your disposal. Look at how many different ones there are right here. We can go by category or by name. Um, you know, just so much. If we want to put distortion, we got all these types of distortions, stereo effects, building blocks, synthesis utilities, reverbs, delays, spectral modulation, EQ filters, and dynamics. I mean, think about the possibilities here. So uh, we can also delete any of these. We can, you know, by double clicking, we're going to bypass it. Uh, we can right click and we've got some other controls right here. So this is that one active preset that I chose from the beginning. So I have full control over every one of these effects now. I'm on a reverb. If I go to utility, I have all of these. You can see that it's being modulated by a source and that's over here. Uh, you can see modulation three, we've got modulation sources. And if you double click, you got all of your, you know, normal or envelope follower, or just a plain envelope, random pitch, literally anything you can imagine is inside of here. Not only that, but you also have these macro controls. And this is where you start to build the GUI you see over here in this page. This is what you do. You use uh, these, these over here and you can start to design your GUI and everything is just perfect. Another thing I mentioned in the intro video was you can just hit random. So I've got random right here. Let me just hit that. Let's hit random again. All right, click on that reverb, and now I can have save kind of this routing, but I can just do a different type of reverb. I mean, there are random buttons on almost every module if you wanna just get in. You can see random globally.
And not only can you click random for any one of these, this is global, this is for just the modular system, this is for the uh, whatever effect you have selected. You can also choose presets for each one of these as well. So I've got presets for the delay module, I've got presets for the modular system, or I've got those active presets uh, for, you know, everything combined. So I'm telling you, this thing is incredible. So I'm gonna leave it at that because I wanna jump in and start showing you how to start making your own effects and getting things to work the way you want them to. So I hope you're as excited as I am about this tutorial series because MXXX by Melda Productions is my favorite plugin at the moment. And because it's literally every plugin I can imagine, I think it's gonna be my favorite for uh, you know quite some time to come. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump into that tutorial series on how to get started getting your own effects going inside of this thing. Mm -hmm. 